please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use asynchronous callbacks and generators in Python to write non-blocking, efficient code for handling concurrent tasks. This allows you to perform I slash O bound operations without blocking the main program's execution. Asynchronous programming in Python enables you to perform tasks concurrently, making your code more efficient when dealing with I slash O bound operations, such as reading slash writing files, making HTTP requests, or working with databases. This concurrency is achieved without blocking the execution of the main program. Asynchronous callbacks are functions that are invoked when an asynchronous operation is completed. They allow you to continue executing other tasks while waiting for the operation to finish. The Asyncio library in Python is a popular choice for implementing asynchronous callbacks. The Asyncio library provides a framework for asynchronous programming using coroutines and the event loop. Coroutines are special functions that can be paused and resumed, allowing other tasks to run in the meantime. To use Asyncio, you need to mark functions as asynchronous using the async keyword and define your code using await statements to manage asynchronous operations. The event loop is responsible for scheduling and executing these asynchronous tasks. You can combine generators with Asyncio to write efficient asynchronous code. Generators are functions that yield values one at a time, allowing you to pause and resume their execution. To create a generator that works with Asyncio, you use Asyncio.sleep to yield control back to the event loop temporarily. This enables other asynchronous tasks to run, making it suitable for scenarios where you need to wait for I slash O bound operations. In this example, we define an asynchronous task my underscore task that uses a wait to sleep for two seconds. We then use asyncio.gather to run two instances of this task concurrently. Here, data underscore producer is an asynchronous generator that yields data points every second. In the main function, we use an asynchronous for loop to consume the data as it's produced. By using asynchronous callbacks and generators, you can write more efficient and responsive code when dealing with I slash O bound operations in Python. Asyncio is a powerful library for managing asynchronous tasks and ensuring your code doesn't block the main program's execution. ChatGPT